guys and welcome to Roberta's Kitchen today. We're going to be doing a white cake um, and I'm going to be using Duffy's cake mix again. Um, this is the white cake. I did do the chocolate cake which I didn't really care for but I'm going to go ahead and try the um, this is just food coloring. I don't think I'll save that. Um, yeah so this is Duffy's I, I, it's Halloween, but, uh, they had a chocolate and white cake, um, so that's the one I'm going to be doing, and, I need to get, I need a tablespoon out, too, so, for the white cake, we have two, or two-thirds of a cup of water here, So I'm sorry I had to put the phone, uh, the camera up there, but here's our mixing bowl. Here's the water. I'm gonna put that in the mixing bowl. And like I said, I need a tablespoon. Do we have a tablespoon? I always thought the tablespoon was there. I'm assuming this is a tablespoon. I did have measuring cups. Um, I can't find them. So let's get the oil. As you can see, I'm almost out of the oil. One large egg yolk, no, uh, uh, one large egg white, no egg yolk in it at all. So, so we have two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of oil going in there, one and two. So that's two tablespoons of oil. And then we have to get this. I have a small thing of large egg eggs, and I'm gonna break it in the shell, and I'm gonna try to get the egg white to go on the. Uh, into the mixture, into the, uh, you really have to be careful to get all of the egg white into the, uh, without getting the, um, without getting the yolk in there. You only want egg white to go in because you want to try to separate the well. Doing my best and without without um. Getting that yolk in there. It's a very difficult process. Because I believe they just put a shell in it too. Okay. 
pretty hard not to get eggshell in your mixture. So slowly just trying to draw the egg white out into the okay. I think that's it. Okay. So I'll get my egg whites, which actually I think I'm going to grab my all whites, put a little extra in there just to make sure that egg, enough egg yolk, uh, I mean enough egg white got in there. Okay, so these are called all whites. All whites, so I'm just going to put a little tad in there just to make sure that that egg white is not in there. Okay. Now, we're going to open up our mixture. Our cake mixture. Now, I am doing a white pound cake. I'm not doing a, cake, a round cake pan because I tried to use the cake pan and there was stuff stuck, uh, paper was stuck to it because I just bought it. Now, let me get the Okay, my whisk is not bad. I don't know what happened to my whisk. I have black whisk. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we got our black whisk here. And like I was saying before, I like to use the whisk because I think it helps the um, mixture and it helps. It's kind of like a uh, mixer. Um, so I'm actually doing two things today. I'm going to make the, um, chicken parmesan thingamajiggy and then, um, the white cake. So again, yeah, I hope I did this correctly. Um, okay. Oof. So I mixed that up. Just make sure. Just, I kind of do it like one of those big bowl spins. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, I tried to uh, set this camera from this as best I can here. Okay, so we're gonna spray our pan, or our, spray our, I'm using this. This is the Temptations, um, stoneware. Is you can do anything, baking, anything in this. Um, I got it from uh, QVC if anybody would like to know. And we're gonna pour the cake mixture into I noticed it did not make a lot of 
did not make a lot of mixture like the chocolate, but that's okay. I'm just in the mood to uh, do some um, baking and cooking today. Okay, so we pour it in there. Okay, and then, well, hold on. let's just find out how long we need to put that in the oven for. Okay, 25 to 30 minutes it says. Okay. At 350. So we're going to put this... Yeah, we'll do 25-30 minutes in a preheated oven. Okay, so here's our cake stuff, and we're putting it in the oven now. Bake. And then we're going to let that bake. Moving on. Okay, so that was the Buffy uh, Duffy's white cake uh, mix. So um, we put that in for about 30 minutes, and then stay tuned for my next recipe, which is the uh, chicken parmesan in a crock pot. Thank you for watching.